This is a comparison of the flame speeds of butane air and hydrogen air mixtures. This butane air mixture contains about 30 milliliters of butane, weighing in at about 75 milligrams. That's about the same mass as three drops of water in a liter bottle of air. And that burns with a quite convincing blue fireball. Now this is the sort of relatively slow flame combustion that goes on in the engine of your car, and it's what powers your car, albeit under somewhat higher pressure. It actually releases per unit volume of gas a comparable amount of energy to a hydrogen air mixture. Hydrogen, on the other hand, has very high flame speeds over a wide range of compositions. In this case, it's about 300 milliliters of hydrogen gas, weighing in at about 25 milligrams. That's only about the same mass as a single drop of water, and the rest of the bottle is made up with regular air. While both of these mixtures have a similar energy content, the hydrogen one releases its energy over a much shorter period of time, leading to a, <laughs> a significantly enhanced impulse. While rocket motors such as those that power the space shuttle also run on hydrogen and oxygen, they run in liquidized fuels which typically have energy densities about a thousand times higher than the gaseous mixtures. Indeed, if this had been a litre of shuttle mix, my frail human form would not have survived the resulting overpressure. And just for the record, the shuttle engines burn about 4,000 litres of this mixture per second. We have a go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. 